What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you five easy steps to learn how to skate a bowl. Now, learning how to skate a bowl could be pretty intimidating because it's I don't know, gigantic cement, the coping sticks out like I don't know, a couple of inches, so definitely a little scary. Also, if you show up to the park and you got kids flying around, it's just pretty difficult to just hop in the mix and start trying to learn it. So. Today I'm gonna to give you some tips that can hopefully get you started in skating the bowl. All right guys, so tip number one is your board setup. Now you can skate a bowl with just about any board, but it's a lot easier if you have big wheels. Now let me explain, because if you have bigger wheels, you're covering more ground every time that wheel rotates and it just makes it a lot easier to cruise around the bowl. If you got smaller wheels, you know, you'll slow down, take you a little longer to get around, so. Big wheels, definitely a huge help. Also with big wheels, they're gonna help you grind the pool coping a little better because the bigger the wheel, the less big that the coping seems to be because it's more of a surface area that could roll over it. All right, and as for the rest of the board, I think you wanna get something a little wider, like an 8.5 with wider trucks, just because when you're skating a bowl generally, you're gonna be going faster so that kind of gives you more control, more stability. Also, with the board setup, you're gonna want loose trucks. Maybe not crazy loose, but something where if you're pressing on your toes or your heels, kind of gives you a little room to, to turn because it just helps with pumping and carving. All right, and tip number two, if you're wondering why it's wet behind me, the tip number two is get to the park early. Now, I mean, I still have trouble with this. I'll show up to a spot and people are like killing it and I won't really want to jump into the session. You know, I never skated it before. Don't know how the flows of the bowl work. So it definitely helps to show up early, kind of get the feel for things. Or, you know, if you're learning, you got no one here, you're not getting in anyone's way. It just makes it a lot easier. But yeah, you might have to bring a towel or something to dry the park off if you're the first one here, but not so bad. I mean, yeah, probably should have used a push broom for this project, but. All right guys, so tip number three is learning to carve. This is one of the more awkward things for people to learn for some reason, but it's very simple once you get the basic technique down. So I think sometimes it's intimidating because I don't know, I think when you're looking at the ball, you think you gotta like fly around this corner or this or that, but for me, you're just kind of riding a mini ramp, but sideways. So I'm not necessarily going up the transition, I'm going more parallel with it and just kind of carving up and down it you know and then as you hit each corner you're able to pump each flat wall so you'll just want to do this a bunch of times till you feel comfortable just kind of ride up it and then press on your toes to come back down you know and this this is where you're going to generate all your speed from so it's definitely important now as you keep practicing this you're going to feel more comfortable and then you might be able to try to just fly around the corner of the pool. But first, I think this is a great method just to get you used to the feeling of riding around the pool, and this will be able to help you pump so you can continue your line. All right, guys, tip number four is to plan your line. Now, for me, when I show up to a pool, the first step is kind of like seeing where I want to just kind of start, just take my line, figure out what I can do in the pool. Let's say I want to hit one specific wall. Now, figure out a way to drop in where I can carve and then hit that wall. And when you break it down into a smaller step like that, it makes it much easier to get the feeling of learning like a good line in the pool where you can keep carving it. And once you get that line down and you're able to get the trick you want to try, maybe it's just a slash grind. Once you get it, it'll shoot you out into another line usually that you weren't expecting to do. But just kind of breaking it down into simple steps makes it easier for you to figure out one whole big line to do in the pool. All right guys, and tip number five is learning how to grind the coping. All right, so now you've got all your lines down, you figured out how to kind of navigate the pool. Next, you're gonna to wanna to learn how to grind. And yeah, this could be pretty difficult because pool coping is pretty intimidating and you could fall pretty hard if you're not doing it carefully, so. I recommend learning how to grind in the mini ramp first. If you can't do it yet, learn that, then come back to the pool. 
once you're able to do that, grinding in the pool is very similar, but one thing to keep in mind is you have to lean back because that coping is just way grippier and grittier. So to actually grind, you have to lean pretty far back. And another tip for grinding pool coping is, I mean, pool skating is just gnarly, like tough. So you gotta power through that grind and really just force it up there past the hump of the coping. And you know, it's really an aggressive type of skating. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to grind. All right guys, I hope these five tips were helpful for you. If you wanna check out another video I did about mini ramp that's very similar, I'll leave the link somewhere right over here or over here then you can subscribe like here.